everybody. I just wanted to uh, to do a, an unbox uh, of a, a new toy I got. It's a uh, topside creeper. Thanks to Shake73 for uh, giving me the heads up on this one. I got this thing here from Northern Tools for uh, $39. It was like 11 bucks something shipping, so it came up to like $54. Uh, let's see how it works, how it looks. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's this one here is not, it's called the Junior, it's not the Deluxe, because the, uh, okay, well, this is it, pretty good, um, <laughs> yeah, so let's just see how it, uh, how it looks after I cut these, uh, straps off here and see how it opens up. Let me get the... Uh, well, that one was easy because it was broken. The strap. The strap. Some nice thick uh, tie wraps. <coughs> nice thick tie wraps on here. feeling that some assembly required here, being as uh, I'm holding one piece, the other piece is not going anywhere. Not, uh, ta -da. <coughs> oh yeah, there we go. So there's a little bit of assembly required, I guess. Let's see here. Just little uh, clevis pins here. So that's the uh, for adjustment. <clears throat> Pretty good so far. And let's see here. There's quite a few moving parts, you know. And it says push, push, or I'm not sure what I'm pushing for. It says to push. Huh. Well, anyway, let's, let's get the rest of the stuff out of here and see what it's like at first. Looks like a leg and another leg. Is that uh, it's like the way you do it here is you unclip this, move that leg down, and then clamp it on there. It'll make sense in a minute. Now let you see how I do the other one. Okay, as you can see here, it comes closed. That was easy removal. Pop it out there. And then we put the pin back in. Like so. And that's how it closes. So obviously this is the top side. All right. Now. Let's see how this thing goes. It's just a matter of <coughs> getting this thing to push and open. See here, I'm gonna take it over here to the bench where I can set it up here on the bench. Maybe have some better luck with it. Yeah, so 
see here it's got this little handle here that says push. Next thing you can push the dickens on this thing. It doesn't turn. Hmm. That's very confusing. thing a bit and I'll come right back. Okay, well, the thing is I figured it out. See it ratchets up here, <coughs> which makes a lot of sense. But anyhow, um, and there's the top side junior. Anyway, what happened is, is I used my pliers and you have to turn this thing. And when I turned it, it just it opened up. So the thing is, is that, you know, it says you can do it with with your hands, but I'm not too sure about that. So I'm using a flyer and it seems to work. Seems to work much better. Oops, let me get it notched out here. Huh. Very interesting. That's going to take some playing with, to be honest with you. So that's a height adjustment there. These two, uh, these two pins here are height adjustment. And then uh, the legs, the legs, let's see here. They're going to, um, Sorry about that. All right, I'm back in a minute. Okay, well, I think I kind of figured it out. You know, it's a little bit uh, confusing there to, to be to be totally honest with you. And there's not a, there's no instructions. But anyhow, taped on the inside of the box, I had to dig around in there. Is a hardware kit which has two bolts, two washers, and two uh, captive nuts. And so. What you do is you once you get uh, the once you get the thing opened up and you slide those in, then these these bolts here go down in there and hold it. So this is the whole thing. Basically, what it does is that, that thing will fold down. That folds up, so it ends up being compact where you can store it. So, uh, but again, this thing here, I don't know. I'm not real. Just not real. Happy to believe this thing works. Let me see if I can bring it all the way up. If that releases it. It does not. <laughs> that thing will just keep going around and around, I guess. I have to figure out how this push thing works. I'm not sure if that's effective or what, but uh, I cannot push that and do anything with it. So, there has to be a much easier way of getting this thing to close up. But anyhow, so I need to put the two bolts in there, and then uh, once I do that, and I fiddle around with this thing again here, I'll come back and show you the final result, okay? Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. All right, so the thing is, I had to use my pliers a few times to loosen this up, but uh, this thing here will go in and turn, and then you can adjust it, all right? And then what you do is you can go back in here and, and turn it. The other direction, and again, it's not real easy, and then it goes down. So that's it, and the height adjustment is here, like I said. And uh, so then, when you want to store it, 
the, uh, the pits come out of the legs like you saw me put in earlier, the legs fold up, and so the whole thing is a package. Let's see here, Alan. strong springs on this uh, on these bolts here this is quite a, it's a, like a clevis pin with a spring on it it's kind of neat it's not quite like a hitch pin <coughs> but it sure goes in pretty easily once you get it there and then the other one is the uh, obviously the same way That's it. So that's is it folded up, <laughs> kind of ready for storage. So you can uh, you can store it away. Let me take you off here and let you take a look. Yeah. So that's it. That's how it stores up. Not too bad. And then it'll allow you to uh, work on top of your engine and not have to be leaning over the fender. Especially a fat boy like me. It gives me something to rest my tummy on. So anyhow, I wanted to share that with you guys. Do the unbox. I would say that the uh, it's not really bad. It's not difficult to understand how it goes together. It's just it be real nice to have an instruction. Now there is... A instruction use instruction on the back here let me show you <clears throat> now the legs do drop down when you but anyhow as you can see here there are safety instructions and there are operation instructions along with uh, with diagrams So anyway, there you go. Um, that's it. This is the uh, that's the Topside Junior, thirty-nine bucks um, from Northern Tool. Um, all in all, I would say that uh, I'm happy with it. I'll see how it works out when I use it. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this. All right, thank you. Bye.